I'm going to haul for you. Obviously I will be trying on all of those things because what's the point of a haul if you don't try the things on that you bought. Also, I'm not styling them that crazily so I'm mainly just going to put on a white shirt with the trousers or normal jeans with all of the tops I got because I do want to film a lookbook so I don't want to waste all of the more interesting style ideas on this haul and so yeah just keep that in mind and uh, yeah basically let's just jump straight in oh and one thing most of those things are warmer clothing because I did buy them earlier in this year so when it was still colder all right yeah let's actually start <laughs> the first thing I bought is a really basic long sleeve black t-shirt with a turtleneck um, that actually cost only one euro because I got it at a flea market and yeah it's from Primark and it's really tight but it was only one euro and it actually fits <laughs> that's it it's really boring but it's a basic that I did not have next thing I also got second hand but from a uh, online website that's kind of like Poshmark but we don't have Poshmark where I live so it's a German version of Poshmark <laughs> which is this sweatshirt I think which is a bit uh, ripped and it's from Ralph Lauren and it was I go for 20 euros I think yeah and it's basically just cream color it has a little logo right here which is really cute uh, the only thing I don't like is that uh, um, what's this called I think it's the neckline <laughs> uh, the neckline is really deep I would have preferred it if it were, were a bit higher because then it would look a bit more classy but I still really like this uh, very thick material it's nice like the way it falls down <laughs> the next thing are those jeans and um, the thing that's a bit more special for me at least is that they are straight leg because all of my jeans are either skinny or mum jeans so I wanted to get a straight leg one and uh, actually I really like the way this fits too it's just a bit tight around the thighs like not too tight it's like like a skinny jeans but then when it goes down it's really comfortable actually what I just don't like is that it has buttons I hate that and I wore those jeans right after I got my acrylics done and it was really difficult getting the buttons closed but well sometimes life just throws things at you and have to you have to learn how to handle them uh, they are from ASOS I think yeah I think I got them from ASOS from a, the brand uh, I don't know how you say that in English Stradivarius <laughs> I got them in a size 36 ah uh, this one's also in a size small I think no it's actually oh right I forgot to say the uh, this one is a size large boys for boys <laughs> so yes it's actually a boys sweatshirt and this one I got in a size 34 which I think is extra small but I'm not sure all right what just kind of annoyed me about those trousers is that I got them new and they already have a hole somewhere right here on the on the knee it's a little hole I don't think you can actually see it's like really small but it's there and I got them new so that kind of pisses me off a bit but anyway apart from that great trousers next when I went to Prague I bought two things on sale in a store called reserved which I had never bought anything before but they have really cute things for example this absolutely cute little shirt that has a straight neck and it looks like it could fit a doll but it's extremely stretchy and this was on sale like I said so I think uh, it wasn't check crowns I think it was like 79 check crowns which is like I think around three euros so that was extremely cheap and uh, it's in a size extra small because they didn't have a normal small but since it's so stretchy it still fits next uh, I also bought at the same store at the same time also on sale is this Torquoy, to, no, I think it's mint, mint coloured, rather long so you can tuck it in and it's also in a size extra small because they did not have it in S but it still fits because it's also really stretchy. Yeah, 
<laughs> and I think this was still around the same price as the other one, it was like 3 to 4 euros. Um, next I went to Peru and the only thing I got there, I really had to restrain myself from not buying anything that I did definitely not need, but what I have been wanting since the last World Cup was a shirt for <laughs> I don't know what this is called in English. Wait, let me look it up. Uh, actually, I think it's called a kit. Uh, uh, a football shirt is what I mean basically uh, so a football shirt from the national team I actually have it in the wash right now so I can't show you uh, here but I will insert a clip of me it's actually kind of not that interesting because I don't think anyone wants to buy that but I did buy it actually and then I also got this jacket which is also from the national football selection that's how you say that <laughs> And it's from Marathon because it's the brand that's sponsoring the shirts. And this is actually really good for running because it's uh, obviously for doing sports. And yeah, <laughs> I feel absolutely not professional talking about that. Uh, yeah, I got this in a size S, but it does fit a bit big on me. But yeah, this was also insane. Um, in Peru, I actually bought loads of jewelry because they have great jewelry there. I got this necklace which is really cute I will insert a better clip so you can see this boy has those little like balls yeah and then I also got the bracelet in the same style this one and my cousin actually gave me this little bracelet which is from the islands actually my aunt bought all of those things for me which is extremely nice <laughs> and I also got this hair clip which I think I've been wearing in quite a few videos so far but yeah that's it for jewelry I think uh, I actually got two phone cases as well I got this one from ideal of Sweden I bought it second hand because I'm not spending 45 euros on a phone case even though I've got to say they are really good that I could protect your phone really well. It fell on the concrete floor twice already and there's not a single scratch on my phone. The only thing is that whenever they fall, the, the cases fall down, like the phone falls down with the case on it, the case just breaks. Like it just broke off a piece of it here. And I always have to glue it back on, which is insanely annoying. Uh, yeah, and I'm glad I didn't spend the full price on this because that definitely sucks. But it's still really pretty, <laughs> like they have insanely pretty cases. And I also got this one from eBay, it's just simply lavender one, which I have been wanting for a long time, but it's apparently really difficult finding a plain lavender colored phone case. This cost 3 euros I think, and I, had, I got this one second hand, like I said, for 8 euros. Next are those trousers, which I also got uh, from the second hand website. Alright, so they are those red vintage trousers I think they were and yeah they are just like a it's not a jean stop <laughs> jean material I don't know what well, it actually says cotton but I don't know how to describe this material but it's very it's very lightweight so it's actually really great for the summer when it's warm outside but you don't want to be wearing short trousers yet and it has really big pockets Ugh, which is great um you want to know the brand is called Lifewear Original Campus Sportwear and I paid six euros for this and it did actually come with a stain right here which is so small I don't think you can even see that on camera I you can't even see it in real life that well but the girl that I bought it from told me that it had a stain and if I wanted to uh, she would refund me some money so I, I should just Wait till I received it and tell her how much of the money I want refunded, which is extremely nice. And I just uh, made a deal that she would refund me the shipping money, which was two euros and twenty cents. I thought that seemed fair. So the next thing, <laughs> guys, is jacket, which is lavender color because actually I think that's my new favorite color. And it's uh, in a cold material and in a jean jacket style, which is exactly what I wanted. It's also from the brand Reserved. So apparently I like that brand. <laughs> it's in a size 36. And I really like the way this fits. The only thing is that I haven't been able to wear it yet. Uh, because like for example it definitely does not go with this t-shirt. But I think you could just simply wear it with jeans and like a 
white shirt <laughs> and just have this one at the pop-up color and for this one i paid 11 euros i think for 10 no i think i paid 10 euros yeah so next thing i got those three trousers i got this linen one this one i got online and not second hand i didn't want to get this second hand because on that website you can't send the things back so i thought i wouldn't like it because i've never worn something like this so i just wanted to try out how i like it so i got this from zalando from also the brand Stradivarius actually and the next two trousers are also from that same brand <laughs> this one was a a bit more expensive but like not really <laughs> just more expensive than this then the second hand things this one was 20 euros as well and this is so comfortable this is like the most comfortable pair of trousers that i own it's actually even more comfortable than joggers uh, the only thing was that the waist was a bit too loose so i had to add an elastic band in there so now it fits better and it has those buttons here and yeah the legs are really wide which makes it extremely comfortable and flowy and you can also wear this in summer if you don't want to wear shorts <laughs> and I got this one in a size 36 as well and I think they all uh, they still have that in store actually because I bought it quite recently and the last two things I got are actually the exact same trousers just in two different styles those actually fit really nicely and they also have a wide leg but the only thing I'm not sure about is that I actually wanted them to be more in the material like the linen trousers but it's more like, I think, more like suit trousers I think, I don't own any but I would imagine that's what they would feel like so it's not as soft, you know so I'm not sure if I should keep those because they were both only 8 euros and like the, the new price actually still got the tag on so could you please tell me um, if I should keep those or not because I'm really not sure because I do like the way they fit but it's not exactly what I wanted but they are really cheap and I think I would wear them because they are really simple and comfortable and I really like the way they fit around the waist but I'm just not sure because it's not exactly what I wanted but I think I would wear them ah! it's so difficult so yeah, please tell me in the comments if you think I should keep those or look for another one because I can still return those. The waist is matched in those. And yeah, like I said, I got the exact same one in another pattern, which is this gingham one. Thanks. So those fit the exact same as the black ones, but I think I'm more certain that I want to keep those. I know, I just kind of think I didn't have any expectations on how I wanted this one to fit, so I think I'm definitely keeping those, even though they are a bit more fancy and I don't think I would wear them that often. But if I were to go somewhere fancy, I should definitely keep those because I always buy things that I think I would wear like all the time. So I have many comfortable clothes that are like not that fancy but whenever I need to go somewhere fancy which luckily doesn't happen that often but then I just don't have anything to wear to that so now I have something a bit more fancy. The only thing that bothers me is that they don't have any pockets which is like really confusing because they are wide leg trousers and usually wide leg trousers have really big pockets and they don't have any. The linen ones have great pockets just saying so yeah that's it i hope i did not forget anything and that you did find this somewhat entertaining uh yeah so if you want all of those things seen styled a bit more interestingly please subscribe uh, so you can see the next video i'm planning on filming with those clothes and yeah thank you very much for watching please leave it a like if you like this video so i know that you liked it and <laughs> uh, leave a comment and i hope i will see you in another video and bye bye